uh, I'll tell you something that uh, I wish someone had told me. Yes? What you want? <laughs> My baby nowadays says, Ashe, yes? Uh, Ashe, yes? What you want? Yes? What you want? Ashe? What you want? Huh? Jump. Jump. Hot, hot, hot. It's my little one. No, no, no. Annie, see what she is putting in her mouth. <sighs> so anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, one of the... You know, I've been into personal branding for so many years now. And... Um, when I started off, there was nobody to tell me what to do, nobody to guide me. I just had to, you know, learn by doing. And over the period of time, I went for different courses, learned different, uh, read different books, learned from different people. However, there was, there was nothing like... Uh, the real stuff of personal branding, you know. Like even today, if you check online, you'll get bits and pieces of stuff. Uh, you know, you need to be authentic, you need to be yourself, blah, blah, blah. But uh, nobody gave the hardcore advice. So what I'm going to share with you is what I learned from my own life. Okay? Now here's a simple question. Let me ask you a simple question. Let's say you want to be a personal brand. You want to be famous. You want to make money. You want to earn a livelihood. But now the question is, what if, okay? What if you're not likable? Then what do you do? What if you're not popular? What if you're, there's nothing about you that you know, someone would want to come to you, what do you do then? In fact, if you look around, you'll see so many people, they are ordinary, there's nothing great about them, they're just normal people. So what do you do? I think this was the question, or rather the statement I was battling with. Over the years, right from childhood, I was never a popular guy. I was, not, I was not liked by many people. I was not the cool, hip, happening kind of person. People didn't want to hang around with me. So, I was never the guy who, you know, people looked up to. In fact, in school days, there was not even one leadership position anyone would give me. Seriously, not even one. <laughs> in fact, I think one of my class teachers felt sorry for me and gave me the designation assistant monitor. You know, monitor, you are supposed to mind the class and keep quiet and write down the names of people who are making noise. So, <laughs> I was the assistant monitor. Okay. And, you know, when you think about it, that is a very smart idea. You stand there and you look who is making noise and you write their name there and if they keep quiet, you rub it. Very smart move. So I always wanted to be like monitor, leader, prefect. I never got any. So when I went into the real world, once again, I was never the leader. I was more of a playboy in school. I became a playboy in real life. Girls used to like me. I was always a rebel. I was never liked. I never followed rules. So now the question is, what do you do then? How do you become a successful personal brand. In fact, if you see on my YouTube, how many people say, Loy, stop talking about religion. Nobody will like you. You're harming your business. So what do you do? Do you play the role of a villain? Like the Jake Paul brothers and, you know, piss off people. But then how will that add to your brand in terms of business, making money? So, I think uh, given that I had nobody to guide me, 
my only solution was I was forcing myself to blend in. I was forcing myself to be likable. I was pushing myself to get along with others, even though I couldn't get along. I did my level best to make people like me. And if you are somewhat like me, you would know, if you force someone to like you, if you push someone to like you, what happens? People realize it's fake. Because maybe you can fake it one time, but eventually your reality comes out, right? So, I was struggling. There was nobody to tell me, Loy, stop it. Loy, stop faking it. Loy, stop trying to adjust. It's like you're a square and you're pushing a square in a round hole, you know? Now, this continued for quite a number of years until, uh, you know, my 2011 suicide video, when I came back. I remember going for this uh, coaching class. Okay. In this coaching class, you know, it was run by a group of people from Switzerland or Sweden. Expensive one. So we're sitting around in a circle. So they were very accomplished people, directors, CEOs, somewhere, aspiring uh, trainers and all that. I was the only odd guy out. So as we were sitting there, the chief coach, the, the main person, gave us an assignment and said, I want all of you to uh, play a particular role. So we were supposed to play a particular role. Okay. And uh, all of us were two by twos. And then we had to exchange partners. And finally, after the session was over, they sat and asked people, give me your feedback. So each one was giving their feedback. I gave my feedback. As this was going on, one person said, I uh, raised the hand. So the coach said, yes. Saying, there's something I need to get off my chest. So the coach said, go ahead, go ahead. He's saying, I just want to point out at Loy. And I was like, huh? What? She's saying, I just want to point out at Loy. And this is not a personal attack. This is just, I want him to be aware. So then uh, I was quiet and I was a little scared. Like, what are they planning to expose? Or I said, go ahead. So he said, Loy, I just want to tell you in front of everyone, you need to stop trying to be nice. You need to stop trying to fit in. You need to stop trying to please uh, others. In fact, when you came up to me, you were being very polite, very nice. Even though I gave you sarcastic answers, even though I was not paying attention to you, you didn't tell me, stop it, pay attention. You didn't tell me, you know, that's being sarcastic. So I just kept quiet. And then the minute the person stopped, another person started. Loy, uh, I also want to tell you something that you, you look like you're trying too hard. You want to tell me something else, but you're trying to be this polite guy. Then one girl said, yeah, I've, I, when I looked at you first, she was a young girl. I thought you're a bad boy and that kind of drew me to you. But then I found you behaving very sheepish. And that was a total put off. So one by one, everyone started. And then the final one was with this old guy, the white beard. He said, Loy, I just want to tell you one thing, mate. I'm old as your grandfather or whatever. I just want to tell you that you are an asshole. I was like, huh? Saying, so you are an asshole. And you're trying not to be an asshole. My advice to you, he was telling me, is stop trying not to be an asshole. If you're an asshole, be the best asshole in the world. Be you. Be true to yourself. I just kept quiet. You know, I, I wanted to ask so many questions and my head was exploding. And and I just kept quiet. And they looked at my face and, and everyone applauded and I was just quiet. I, I was not feeling embarrassed or anything. I said, Loy, how are you feeling? I said, uh, I just need time to let it sink in. So I kept quiet. I was a little stunned. And then later on was the lunch break. So the coach sat with me, just, are you all right? We were, we're doing our best to help you. I said, yeah, just give me 24 hours, let it sink in. It was not I was feeling bad, but I was just shocked hearing all this. 
And after the coaching session took place and finished after a couple of hours, when I I didn't go home. I remember going to the shopping mall, Dubai, not Dubai mall, a uh, Burj Mall. I went and I had food in a small restaurant. And then I was standing there and looking at people pass by, and, and then I asked myself, if I am an asshole, and people know I am an asshole. and they can see through it that i'm an asshole why am i trying to be something that i'm not why am i trying to be nice why am i trying to be polite in fact do i want to be polite you know i ask myself so many questions do i want to be polite do i want to be nice the if i'm an asshole how much of an asshole should i be should i be rude should i tell people on the face in fact i was very scared to tell people what i think I was very scared to tell people stop i didn't have that assertiveness you know that moment was a changing changing moment for me it was like my life changed at that very instant and i realized i think i need to be loy mesido i need to, i think i need to clearly define who is loy mesido minus all these people i'm afraid to be myself i'm afraid to be real i'm afraid to be authentic i need to be my real self to the world now i wish i could tell you i clicked my finger and became loy mesido it took uh, i would say nearly 10 years of self discovery 10 years 10 years of sharpening the saw 10 years of refining myself 10 years of finding out what i really liked didn't like 10 years of how to talk 10 years of maturity today at 44 when we you know 44 we're not going to be i think i'm i know who i am you know what i am i don't need anyone to tell me if this is a lawyer or so like of course i know that this is a lawyer rude of course i know that law you are money minded you are cold blooded you are full of yourself you are self centered you are a selfish piece of shit you are a male chauvinistic pig tell them uh, tell me something i don't know you know because the thing is uh, i don't need anyone to tell me who i am i know who i am it's so funny when someone tries to tell a 44 year old today who went through nearly i think 15 years of self discovery today i know who i am and i'll tell you that moment in life the day that man told me loy you are an asshole fuck it changed everything he told me quite a number of things i sat with him privately he said you have trust issues you don't believe people you are very insecure you are very afraid you have low self esteem he told me and i took down notes i wrote down all this and that formed the core character that i am today being aware the first step is being aware unfortunately the problem is there are no institutes or coaches or people who can guide you on this for me i was just lucky the right time right place right situation and that helped me discover who i am you know the problem is if you do not know who you are how can you guide others how can you guide your spouse your children that is why when you meet these gurus like sadguru or spiritual guys uh some of them are really good some are stupid huh? some are manipulative but the ones who have this kind of like even though i don't agree with sadguru on the hinduism and spiritual he has a level of self awareness same thing with osho a degree of self awareness and that helps you become better i'm not saying become spiritual in fact there are so many idiots who who there is this female in my facebook who have unfriended cute female but she listens to this hindu guru who gives a you know your third eye your spiritual chakra if you love others they will love you 
if you forgive. She puts short, short videos. Love, forgive, peace, faith. Fucking only 20 year old and lecturing people. Oh, if you, if you bring in the inner healing, you'll feel the peace. And she'll put some music and shit like that. No, not all that bullshit, man. I'm talking of stuff that you keep only for you. It'll help you become a better human being. See, today I can tell you for a fact, I'm not a nice guy. Yes? What you want? No, my baby. See, today I'm not a nice guy. Huh? What is honeybee? Huh? Where you're showing me where honeybee? Ah, these are all honeybee. Oh, really? Yeah, those are small, small honeybees, mini honeybees. They are building a house. It's my wife. Yeah, yeah, let them make house. So that's <laughs> my wife. Anyway, see, the point I'm trying to tell you is I'm not asking you to be an evil person. I'm not asking you to start doing, commit crimes and harm and hurt others. No, that's not the message of this. I'm talking of you yourself, your interaction, your awareness, your admissions to yourself. And this makes you a better human being, you know. See, remember one thing. Uh, if you're earning money and you're going about your day-to-day -day life, you're busy, you don't have time. This, what I told you, is not for you. But if you're really trying to find out the sense, the 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 sense of direction, the purpose, the the inner awareness for you only, not for the whole world, not for preaching, not for teaching. <sighs> then this, what I shared with you, is very important. Because today, anyone tells me who I am, anyone gives me bad words, good words, compliments, doesn't matter. I am very clear about who I am, what I am, what my values are. What to do, not to do. Don't have a sense of confusion. And that in turn has led to my success. To where I am today, who I am today. And that is why, you know, people like Osho and Sadhguru, why they attract people. Because first is they have a deep sense of understanding of themselves. And then they know how to communicate or translate this to the world. And that attracts people. So I'm not trying to put myself at the level of these guys, but at least for yourself, you need to be very clear. Are you a good guy, bad guy, asshole, joker? Because remember, even though we all want to be like heroes in a movie, all of us want to be heroes. Nobody wants to be a villain. And most of all, nobody wants to be a clown or a ordinary side role. We always look at our heroes. We always fantasize villains. Not the side ordinary people. Fact of the matter is not everyone can be a hero, right? Not everyone can be a amazing like Joker or Thanos. Somebody has to take the role of being ordinary, right? So yeah, I realized early on I could not be a hero. I realized I didn't want to be a villain. So what other role was left? The role which I created for myself. And today, this is what I am. I'm not a role model for anybody. I'm not a villainous character or I don't put on a fake this thing. I just play the role of Loy, Loy Macedo. That's it. <laughs> My daughter is. Ah, uh, what you want? You're trying to pick it up? Okay, I help you. Wait, wait. Where's the mama? Mommy is not there. Okay, okay. Huh. Give me. Shape leash. Shape leash, Papa. Shape leash. Mm. Mm. You're dirty like a pig. Huh. Uh, no, no. Come, go up, go up, go up. Go. I have to carry this. Mm. Where, Mommy? Where, Mama? Huh? Where, Mama? Ah, uh, Annie, where Annie? Yeah. Oh, you down there, huh? A cycle, I put it up. Okay, Annie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Yalla guys, you guys take care. Put your comments and thoughts down below. Let's make a signing off. Ciao.